Almost 500 kilometres west of Brisbane lies the epicentre of a significant new business for Santos and its partner Petronas. Tens of thousands of square kilometres of coal seams containing enough resources to supply Eastern Australia with gas for more than a hundred years. A world-scale resource of coal seam gas, or CSG, well-placed to meet an increasing demand for cleaner energy. CSG is the fuel of the future, with the capability to deliver clear environmental benefits by enabling lower carbon emissions in Asia's major economies. Santos's vast reserves of CSG will become the feedstock for a multi-billion dollar LNG plant the company is planning to build in Gladstone, Queensland. The key lies in transforming CSG into liquefied natural gas, or LNG, so it can be economically and safely shipped to international markets. And the combined experience of Santos and Petronas firmly positions GLNG to become a global leader in this technology. GLNG has three major components. The development of the CSG fields around Roma and Injun in eastern Queensland. The construction of an LNG processing plant at Curtis Island, located in the port of Gladstone. With work on the first train expected to commence on project sanction. And the construction of a 435 kilometre underground gas pipeline linking the gas fields to the Gladstone plant. Santos and Petronas have assembled a project team to undertake the environmental, commercial and technical work required to take this project to the next stage. It's anticipated that more than 5,000 jobs will be created during the construction phase and more than 1,000 during operation. And right at this moment we are developing a high performance team to bring GLNG to fruition in 2014. The right people with the right skills who know exactly what we need to achieve. Curtis Island will become the location of the LNG processing plant and export terminal, Eastern Australia's first LNG port. CSG will be piped from the gas fields to the plant, where it will be cooled to minus 161 degrees Celsius and liquefied. The plant will initially produce 3.6 million tonnes of LNG a year, with potential for significant expansion. GLNG is a defining project for Santos a world first to take coal seam gas and convert it into LNG. With Petronas, we've got a perfect partner. The exploration and appraisal program for the gas fields around Roma and Injun has had a positive start, with the reserve build ahead of schedule. Field development planning is also gathering momentum, including critical infrastructure elements, such as compressor stations and gathering systems. Santos and Petronas are committed to delivering GLNG in an environmentally and socially responsible manner. Extensive landholder and community consultation was undertaken throughout 2009. More than 400 consultation sessions have been held with stakeholders and the broader public since the project started. GLNG is being showcased in shopfront locations in Gladstone and Roma to provide members of those and neighbouring communities with up-to-date information and project news and to enable them to provide feedback to the project. A long-term commitment to community wellbeing is a priority for GLNG. This project will become part of the community and provide benefits such as increased employment, training and local business opportunities for many years to come. GLNG has already confirmed its leadership position among the major Queensland LNG projects by becoming the first to submit its environmental impact statement to the state government in March 2009. In addition, GLNG has signed a binding heads of agreement to sell 2 million tonnes per year of LNG to Petronas. The agreement covers the sale and delivery of LNG to Petronas for 20 years starting in 2014 for use in the Malaysian gas market. It's the largest trade deal ever signed between Australia and Malaysia. This is the most exciting growth phase in Santos' history. 
It exposes the company's substantial gas resources to international markets at premium LNG prices. A final investment decision will be made in 2010, which will enable the first shipment of gas to leave Curtis Island in 2014, firmly positioning Queensland among the world's leading energy providers. GLNG, the future of clean energy.